turnovers. The nine's going on the side. You got a nice for two with this kiss on the one, it looks like. But of course, the cue ball has gone down table a little bit farther than he wanted it to. Now yeah, he's got a complicated shot here. You can bank this cross side, but you don't figure to get position on the two. The right shot is a safety. That's his only reasonable shot. He's got a very difficult situation to negotiate from here. You would like to cut it in, but in, in cutting it in, what's going to happen to the cue ball? Well, that's going to happen right there. <laughs> that's going to happen. <laughs> wow. That takes some guts. I, you know, you and I wouldn't run into that many balls. We wouldn't do that. And we, he couldn't have possibly have figured out that was going to happen. No. You know, no, of course but not. you know, there wasn't really that good of a safety. Uh, well, if he had no safety, uh, so therefore he said, "You know what? I can make this ball. I'm going to gamble well, here." I do like shooting in practically all situations where the safety is tough or non-existent. But I did like the way he shot it. He didn't go anywhere near that side pocket. You know, so therefore, if he pocketed the ball, you know, he, he figured to come up with something that would, would be fairly decent. But that that was just perfect. Right. Funny, he's going to have to play in the, in the corner. Yeah, you know, I thought that he shot that too, kind of like quick, you know, and and it doesn't look like he landed ideally for this for this ball because he got a little careless on that shot. Yeah, I change here and play it in the corner if it's me. I think that that the, 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 the way the shot lies, it's the natural way to play position for the eight for the corner. Right. Exactly. Just like that. Mm hmm. Well, Corey needed this too. No. 17 to 10 is going to be our score. <laughs> yeah, that was a nice shot of under pressure. You got to give, give credit. I call him a kid. Well, you know, to yeah. us he is. Yeah, he he wanted to shoot the one, especially when you trail by a lot of games. You want you know you want to shoot. Well, he likes it. to shoot. He, he, he likes to shoot anyways, but you really want to shoot when you're trailing by a lot of games. But you can't win those games back unless you do shoot at some point. So therefore, he said, you know what? I don't want really like my chances of a, of a decent safety here. I'm going to shoot because I think I can pocket the one. I take my chances to see what happens. Well, one of the things that made Nick such a great national champion for so many years was his aggressiveness. He liked to shoot. And you, you can't roll out where Nick won't take the shot unless it's just impossible, for one example. And he figures, well, I might, I might make it run out on the guy, put some real pressure on him. Uh, I might get lucky and leave it safe. I might luck a ball in. Second action, Cameron. Okay. Well, you're going to make that announcement. You know why? Because I can't read your writing. It's not legible. <laughs> okay. I, do you bank this ball? I think you've got a good chance to get it safe, if, even if you don't make it, if you take a bank. Huh? He's, what's he doing with the cue ball here? I don't know if he. I don't know why he elevated the cue. I don't know why he shot that shot the way he did, because what was he doing? I don't know. Now he's looking to play the one off the seven in the side, you know, and the cue ball positioned on top of the three here really complicates this shot. Let's see how well he does with it here. Now that was a nice shot. You know, he, he loves to play kiss shots. I've noticed that when he plays one pocket, he plays a lot of kiss shots like that, you know. He likes that. Well, that so, was a beautiful, beautiful shot selection. So he has a real good sense and a super good feel of kiss shots. 
and being a straight pool player like yourself, you know, uh, you know it's one of your one of your best games straight pool. You know, there's a lot of kiss shots out of the rack against, you know. Oh, it and, helps it, you immensely. Yeah. Okay, I just got. Uh, I just got the word that the action the action report has just signed the second action challenge match. So it says tune in tomorrow night to see who's got the winner. Okay, there I got it. I finally got it. <laughs> so well, we just we, like that is three in a row for Corey. Yes, it is, and now it's going to be 17 to 11, and he certainly is narrowing the gap. And he really couldn't afford to uh, fall much further behind in this match. Absolutely not. You know, I'm kind of wondering who the action report uh, got for the, for the winner of this match. I, I kind of feel I know who it was or who it is because uh, they were talking about it earlier today or last night, late. And I'm probably right because... Uh, the, the fellow that, that they were talking about possibly playing the winner is a very interesting and controversial player. And you probably could figure it out by that last word. Not Earl. Oh, my God, you figured it out. <laughs> uh, could that be right? He's not saying anything. He's not saying he's a, he's I ain't saying nothing like Boston Shorty when they went to the court in the, Johnson City when they got raided years ago. Yeah. They bought Boston Shorty and, and, and I put him on the stand and they asked him a question. He said, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I ain't saying nothing. <laughs> Line ball on the side. This is the ball he's going to get paid for right here. Boom. No, it got, well, it's six ball in the corner. Well, there's not much of a shot here, though. He can't get position on the two ball. It looks like he does have the angle to roll him on the seven here. Unless, uh, I don't know what he's going to do here. Probably going to shoot and play position for the two cross side is what it looks like. Oh, my. I thought he made it when he hit it. I don't uh, think he can make it. I don't it. think he can make it either. I mean, it's really close. Uh, I, I don't think he can make it. No, it doesn't look like he can make it because he's not really happy with it. It's going to go two cushions. It's going to hit the eight. No, it's going to hit the ten. Oh, he doesn't want to hit the seven. And it looks like he's gotten them pretty good results. That was that was the intelligent shot. I saw that right away. You make a fat hit on the one and kill the cue ball on the end right Yeah, right. You know, try to get some distance, and if you get lucky or fortunate, end up with, with a possible snooker out of it. He's he twirling it. Well, he made it. <laughs> but do you want to make it? I guess so, because you shoot straight enough to pocket this combination. That's Unless you play I, that. That's the yeah, I, was, I like off the back of it. Yeah, I was thinking that he may play that shot because it was so available uh, the way the five ball was laying. And that shot really is the better shot to play because you have position for the three. Or it looks like he's relaxing. Well, the door is starting to open up for Duel now, as you can see that uh, he was able to rat in the two in the side pocket. And, uh, you know, something that, that uh, is it's good for him right now because he trails by such a significant margin, six games. Now you got to be careful with this eight ball here. If the eight doesn't pass the ten in the corner uh, or go comfortably in the side, you could get out of line here. Well, you got a nice angle on this, so this is okay. Yep, good shot. So now, how many straight games has Duel won here? It was 17 to It was 17 eight. to 9. Eight, so this it? will make it... Uh, 17 to 9, yeah. 3. Was it 17 to 8 or 9? Maybe it was 8. 
Yeah, four in a row. He's won four in a row, right. So therefore he is closing the gap and uh, he needs to do that. So at the end of 29 games, Duel now tra trails by five games, 17 to 12. Well, look, we'll have to ask the uh, powers that be here, but in my opinion, just given the way this is going, it's, it's a nicely paced contest. However, the place has to close at 2 o'clock. I think we should play until 2 o'clock. That's just my opinion. Uh, if it agrees well, with that, it's not my decision. It was just a, it was just a suggestion. At this pace, I think they're averaging six, uh, uh, six minutes a game. So you got to factor that in on, on your, you know, figure what, how that happens because, you know, I mean, you really have to, you really have to reach a certain amount of games tonight to have any chance of finishing it tomorrow. <laughs> That's wonderful. <laughs> he only got, he nine, made the nine five. on the side. He's going to end up with a shot on the, uh, on the one ball here. Let's see where the two ball is going to end up. And things are starting, starting to turn here. Well, Corey got a couple of pretty good rolls. He cut that one ball real thin and ran into three or four balls and got perfect on the next ball. Then he got lucky on the ball. As yeah. You suggested. It, yeah. It yeah. could have easily been uh, 21 to 8 or something. Well, you know. And not that bad, but anytime, 21 to 12. Exactly. <laughs> We're going to see a lot of... Uh, you know, a lot of eventful things happening, you know, in, in this long match. There's going to be just about everything happen in this match. Okay, look at the four to the five here. That's a little touchy. Yes, it is. You may have to go four rail position. Yeah, I like four rails. That takes a good solid hit, doesn't it? Well, he's going to go one rail position <laughs> or draw it straight back. Well, this is all right. Um... Now he has to be concerned with getting behind the seven here. He says, I want to draw it into that corner pocket. That way, if I do that, I'll hit the seven. With the bridge, I, I'm lucky if I can draw it. Well, he, he plays great with the bridge. He beats A players playing them even nine ball, and he uses the bridge. And I don't like the way he, where he ended up here. And he didn't really use his head with that, because if, if I had known that he had that ability, I would have had him lose 300 to Harry Pattis one day messing around or thousand dollars or something nice little nifty little shot rail first yep. sending him in line oh for the that six. rail first saves your bacon on many an occasion mm -hmm. and again one pocket and straight pool helps you a lot yeah that yeah type of, that type of shot well, you don't want to get straight so there he does have an angle and looks he's like fine. yeah he certainly is looks like he's going to narrow the gap even even a little more here. You know, he would like to have gotten a little straighter on this ball than what he's done. Now this ball becomes well, I, I'd, missable. Well, I'd play it in the same pocket, the 10 ball, as I make the 8, just to make sure I make it. No, he's all right. Matter of individual choice. After 30 games in this match, we have now a four-game lead for Van Boeing. 17 to 13 with dual winning now five consecutive games. How many racks is he running? He's running three or four racks, isn't he? Three, we're told. <laughs> Let's take a look at the nine ball that's been going in the direction of the side. And that's the ball that he's been getting paid off for on the break. Well, once again, he pocketed a ball, and it looks like it looks like he may, uh, you, know, you know, he don't have a shot. No, but he's got a shot here. The shot I like is thinning the one and knocking it over to the right side of the nine and tr trying to put the cue ball behind the three. The six blocks the one from going in the corner. 
and he's trying to f see if he has enough room to the pocket the ball. Well, you know, I would I, I would try to pocket this ball because if he doesn't pocket it, the one ball goes into the nine and he doesn't leave a shot. Well, he only had a half a pocket, and the cue ball was frozen on the rail. It was an odd angle. No, this is a very, very difficult shot because it's a difficult shot just a pocketing the one, and then you got to try to control the cue ball. Well, if I see it correctly, he's got to hit this with no angles and send the cue ball into the six ball. Let's see what he elects to do. Just like that. That's a nice shot. Yeah, but he's not going to get the results that he wanted because it looks like it's going to go behind a four. Well, that's a possibility, but still it was the right way to play it. Right, exactly. That's you what might I'm be able to make that. It's hard to see from here, Billy. I don't think so. I think it's gone behind the four here. He may be able to see a portion of the ball, but I don't think he can see enough of the ball to pocket it. Well, if he can see enough of the ball, he could two-rail the three down by the five ball with some right English, which would help him push it a little bit too and send the cue ball behind the 10-4. He's looking like he's going to jump it a touch. Nice shot. Okay, again, this isn't easy. The nine ball comes into play. If you elevate the cue, you hit the nine ball going in, and if you don't, you hit the rail and hit it. Pretty tough shot. Yeah, he's really got a tough shot here. You know, and, and, and what makes the shot play even tougher is the position of the cue ball positioned so closely to that side rail. This is a shot that is possible sometimes to hit the nine thinly and, and with a little English you can still get the direction you need to get position on the five. He got to be careful he don't scratch on this shot. Oh, you know, he played that. He played he played the kiss off the nine to send the cue ball up table for position on the five. Four, yeah, really you know, he certainly played that. And, uh, and folks, that was extra creative. Now the nine ball is the only problem, and you need to make your mind up whether you'd rather be, or which side of the ten ball you want to be on. Well, you want to be on the top side of the nine. Yeah, oh, but I, I you, agree. Got, you, you have much more, uh, many more options that way. Well, where he's positioning the cue ball here, Grady, he may have to go on, uh, you know, float down table now. I think he's all right. I think it bounces out about a foot nicely. Well, I don't know. I <laughs> wow. Uh, I like your selection of uh, going on the other side of it once he got where he did. No, he's okay. Well, that's interesting now. On my four-inch pocketed tables at home, that wouldn't, that shot won't go. No, it won't. <laughs> yeah, now that shot uh, actually should not have fallen. Because that, it, it, it really stopped, and then it, then it fell in. And, and of course, was, I was surprised. Always, you're allowed like five seconds to wait and see if it's going to fall. It's a nice, cozy little setting here in Sioux Falls, South Dakota. About 80 spectators. Nice banner of the action report on the wall. We don't have a monitor here, so I can't see what's shown. Well. 
we've got two choices here. I think the side pocket, the right-hand side pocket is a reasonable one. He's fine here. He can just float forward a little bit, play position for the four in the side pocket. Uh, now that he got here, I think he'll probably play it in the corner. Yeah, but after pocketing in the corner, the cue ball then ends up in an awkward position for the five close to that rail. He wanted a nice angle on the five, so he has more ability to control the cue ball. and oh, put he's got to float forward and he does not want to be straight in on the five. That's about the only way he can get in trouble. He wants to come down far, far in this. Right. Further than that. Yeah, right. So he can come across table. Well, this is touchy here because uh, if, you, if you don't elevate the cue a little bit, which he's doing, that high ball and new cloth would make it lag. A That's exactly bit. what happened. Now, had he, had he traveled down table further, he would have had a nice natural uh, angle. Because you would have been able to cut the five ball thinly and then go and then get that good All action right, off that cushion. English, this is a pretty poor shot. The right hand corner up there. Well, I like playing position for the nine on the side. I'm not messing around with the corner here. Yeah. All you got to do is pocket the eight this way. Exactly. And once again, Corey will then narrow the gap to within four games trailing at this juncture of the match, 18 games to 14. Well, at one point, wasn't he nine games behind? It was, it was eight or nine, for eight for sure, possibly, uh, possibly nine, yeah. So he's coming back nicely. It's still anybody's match. Yeah, it was 17 to eight, I think, at one time. I thought it was, yeah. Because he doubled him at 16 to eight, and then he won the next game and made it 17 to eight. So he's won five of those games back in a, in a, in a very short period. Uh, he, he's won uh, six of the last seven games. And like I said, there's a long, long way to go. A lot more play left in this, in this match. And now there goes once again the nine ball in the side pocket. He hasn't come up with a shot on the one. But you know what? He has a real good safety here. It looks like the cue ball is positioned close enough to the one to where he can shoot the cue ball off the one down table behind he's, a four. He's playing a bigger than the seven, I think. I don't like this shot at all. I don't like that shot at all. You're going to get lucky here, though. Yeah, I don't, I don't, I don't see how you could play a shot like that, you know. No, I don't either. I really don't. You Except know, that he just likes to shoot. He's an aggressive player. It looks like he can twirl this a little, huh? or is he going to uh, kick it? He's got too much ball to twirl around. Okay. And he's got a big ball in the seven. If he hits the one, you know, good, he can pocket, pocket that seven possibly. 
you know, it's right in front of the pocket and far enough off that rail to make it a very pocketable ball. He's gonna he's gonna sell out here. McCoy is pretty fortunate that he didn't sell out. Yeah, I thought it was really a, a bad judgment for him to attempt the billiard on the seven, and he got away with it because he didn't really leave anything. All right, he's going to play position for the two ball in the right-hand side pocket. Two rails here. Uh-oh. Wow. Little too close, little too close. And he and he's got himself, a, you know, he's got a problem here. This is definitely a problem here. Well, I see some ways to do this. He could cut the two ball into the six and do a little masse with left English and make the cue ball twirl down to the end rail rather than scratching. Yeah, or that's that's use, one option. Or he could use the other English and go to the other rail. In other words, cut the two into the six the same way, but use right English. So therefore, that really, that's only an option and a half. <laughs> He's really limited with options here. I don't think there's anything going this way. I, I don't like this. I don't like this at all. Do you? No, I don't know what he's doing here. Uh, unless I see it wrong here. Well, he liked it. And you know what? If he likes it, I like it. Yeah, really. Um, I thought he was going to scratch in the side, but yeah, of course, it from, like it. yeah, from our vantage point, sometimes it's very difficult well, he's got for us to determine. He, he really does. Well, of course, when you're at the table, I mean, uh, you have a much better feel on what's, what actually is available. Uh, he jumps pretty good with his own view. Let's see what kind of results he gets here. Yeah, he's going to kick at this, though. A lot of good things can happen here if he cuts the two towards the five. Yep. Oh, I, I, didn't think that was, I, I didn't think you have to hit it that hard. Two, three, four, five, six, seven. It doesn't seem like there's any problems out there.